The following is the procedure for donning and doffing of PPE required for patients confirmed or suspected to have COVID-19. Please refer to the precautions for patients confirmed or suspected to have COVID-19 document. Found on the HR portal, COVID-19 resources for employees and physicians. The following procedure will be used for donning PPE for airborne and contact precautions. Gather and stage all supplies. Perform hand hygiene using alcohol hand gel or soap and water. Don a blue isolation gown. The isolation gown should be tied in the back to avoid cross-contamination during doffing. Do not tie the gown in the front. Ensure that you use the thumb loops on the isolation gown. The gown should fully cover the torso from neck to knees, arms to ends of wrists, and wrap around the back. Don gloves. The purpose of gloves is to ensure the reused N95 mask is kept clean for the next use. Gloves should not be too tight or loose. Tight gloves could potentially tear, and loose gloves will hinder your ability to perform certain patient care tasks and may come loose. Don an N95 mask for which you have been fitted. Start by placing the mask around your mouth and nose with one hand while moving the top strap around the back of your head with your other hand. Keep holding the mask around your mouth and nose and move the bottom strap above your head and around the neck. Using your thumb and index finger, pinch the metal bar around the top of your nose. Perform a seal check. Make sure that you are comfortable wearing the mask and you have a good seal. Doff gloves using glove to glove, skin to skin technique. Perform hand hygiene and don new gloves. Don eye protection. To don a reusable face shield, place the face shield on and ensure the harness is securely positioned around the forehead and the back of the head. Adjust the knobs on the back and side of the device to ensure a secure fit. You may now enter the patient's room or care area. Transmission-based precautions must be applied in conjunction with standard precautions. The following procedure will be used for doffing PPE for airborne and contact precautions. Doff isolation gowns and gloves by grabbing the isolation gown at the chest and pulling forward. Grab isolation gown at the waist and pull forward. As you are removing the gown, peel off your gloves at the same time, only touching the inside of the gloves and the inside of the gown with your bare hands. Place the gown and gloves into a waste container. Perform hand hygiene. Doff the face shield by leaning slightly forward and removing the face shield by grasping the sides and lifting up and away from the head. Place the face shield on a clean surface. Perform hand hygiene. Doff the N95 respirator by first tilting your head forward. Then use two hands to grab the bottom strap, pull to the sides, then over your head. Next, use both hands to grab the upper strap, pull to the sides, then over your head. Keep tension on the upper strap as you remove it, which will let the mask fall forward. Place the mask on a clean surface. Perform hand hygiene. Label a Ziploc bag with the staff name and patient room number. Store the N95 mask in an open Ziploc bag. The Ziploc bag must be open to air to allow the mask to dry. Discard the N95 mask and Ziploc bag when indicated. Refer to the discard criteria for more. Discard the N95 mask if any of the following occur. 
Halyard Fluid Shield branded N95 masks must be single use. Discard after use during aerosol generating procedures. Discard if the N95 mask becomes contaminated with blood, respiratory or nasal secretions or other bodily fluids from patients. Discard any respirator that is obviously damaged or becomes hard to breathe through. The mask may be used up to five times unless one of the above specifications occurs first. Maintenance of the face shield. Perform hand hygiene and don clean gloves. Disinfection of the face shield must occur immediately after use using hospital approved disinfectant wipes in the following order. Start by wiping the exterior of the shield. Discard the wipe. Wipe the harness. Discard the wipe and wipe the interior of the shield. Once disinfected, store the face shield on a clean surface. Doff gloves using glove to glove, skin to skin technique and perform hand hygiene. The following procedure will be used for donning PPE for droplet and contact precautions. Gather and stage all supplies. Perform hand hygiene using alcohol hand gel or soap and water. Don a blue isolation gown. The isolation gown should be tied in the back to avoid cross-contamination during doffing. Do not tie the gown in the front. Ensure that you use the thumb loops on the isolation gown. The gown should fully cover the torso from neck to knees, arms to ends of wrists, and wrap around the back. Don a face mask. Secure ties or elastic bands at the middle of head and neck or around the ears. Fit the flexible band to the nose bridge. Cover mouth and nose with mask and ensure that there are no gaps between your face and the mask. Don eye protection. To don a reusable face shield, place the face shield on and ensure the harness is securely positioned around the forehead and the back of the head. Adjust the knobs on the back and side of the device to ensure a secure fit. Don gloves. Gloves should not be too tight or too loose. Tight gloves could potentially tear, and loose gloves will hinder your ability to perform certain patient care tasks and may come loose. You may now enter the patient's room or care area. Transmission-based precautions must be applied in conjunction with standard precautions. The following procedure will be used for doffing PPE for droplet and contact precautions. Doff isolation gown and gloves by first grabbing the isolation gown at the chest and pulling forward. Grab isolation gown at the waist and pull forward. As you are removing the gown, peel off your gloves at the same time, only touching the inside of the gloves and the inside of the gown with your bare hands. Place the gown and gloves into a waste container. Perform hand hygiene. Doff the face shield by leaning slightly forward and removing the face shield by grasping the sides and lifting up and away from the head. Place the face shield on a clean surface. Perform hand hygiene.
off the mask by leaning slightly forward. Use both hands to grab the ear loops or untie the ties. Pull the straps to the side, slowly remove the mask from your face, and discard. Perform hand hygiene. Maintenance of the face shield. Perform hand hygiene and don clean gloves. Disinfection of the face shield must occur immediately after use using hospital approved disinfectant wipes in the following order. Start by wiping the exterior of the shield. Discard the wipe. Wipe the harness. Discard the wipe and wipe the interior of the shield. Once disinfected, store the face shield on a clean surface. Doff gloves using glove-to-glove, skin-to-skin technique and perform hand hygiene. For more information, please refer to the HR portal, COVID-19 Resources for Employees and Physicians.